live in this blender, this ambiguity of like, we want to have faith, we do have faith, and at the same time, we have questions. We have doubts. We don't know a lot of things. And yet Jesus still invites us to come to him. Let me put it to you like this. How many of you as Christians, you believe, you trust, you adore Christ, yet you have either maybe are in right now or have been recently in a season, a time of questioning, of doubting, of skepticism. And your faith is kind of mixed like in a blender between a little bit of faith and a little bit of doubt together. Maybe that's you this morning. Or maybe you're not a follower of Jesus. You don't identify as a follower of Christ. And you're more or less, kind of your default is to be skeptical towards the things of Jesus, the things of Christianity. And at the same time, if you're honest, you've had a moment or two where you wonder to yourself, what if this Jesus thing is actually true? You've wondered, you've thought, maybe even, I kind of want it to be true. Again, there's that little bit of faith kind of mixed in with your doubt a little bit. And what this passage is reminding us, what this passage is showing us is that Jesus welcomes those who have less than perfect faith. Jesus welcomes those who have a sense of expectancy even though their faith isn't completely rock solid, airtight, and perfect. And these are the kinds of people that Jesus wants to reveal his character, his gentleness, and his authority to. 